Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Erin Monique, and I'm back today with another video. As you can see by the title, you guys are here to see how I prepped and installed this lace front wig that I have on, starting from all steps for me, like pulling out the pack, laying it down, mixing the bleach, bleaching the knots, plucking, all of that good stuff, and me installing it as well. I did not show how I cut this look, because that would make the video extremely long, and I did not show, um... My makeup, of course, but I do have other videos of me doing my makeup as well. But um, this video is pretty much to show you how to prep and install your own lace front unit. Not cutting it because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the wig. This was kind of last minute. I decided to cut it. So, yeah. Tell me what you think of the unit. Tell me what you think of the overall look. This is it. This started off originally as a 12 inch lace front. So, yep, that is it. That is all. Stay tuned to see how I achieve this look. Thank y'all again. Subscribe and like this video. Okay, so let's get right into it. I already have the products that I'm using out. I will list all of these the products, all of these products in the description box below. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bleach powder. I'm going to pour, pour that into a mixing bowl and use my developer, which is a 30, and mix that together until I get a thick paste. Not too thick, but not too watery as well. You don't want the bleach to seep into your wig. And what I recommend doing is pouring little by little. You don't want to pour too much and then you don't have enough powder to make it thick enough. So just pour little by little and keep mixing until you get that that consistency that you like. Here I'm just showing you what the lace front looks like before I apply the bleach. As you see, there's are, there are a lot of black little knots and those are the knots that we'll be bleaching to turn natural brown. This wig also came with the clips inside of it. I do not like to use the clips because they actually hurt my head. So I'm just clipping those out here before I apply the bleach onto the lace front. So now I'm ready to apply the bleach onto the wig to lift the knots. I'm going to apply this bleach all over the lace front and I am going to then place it onto aluminum foil face down and leave that there for about maybe 10 to 12 minutes and come back to look at it to see what it's looking like. You'll know when your knots are bleached when you see the color lifting as you would lift any other hair that you've dyed before. Now my knots are bleached, you'll see it's more transparent when I put my hand underneath it and there are no black knots. All of the knots have been lifted and this will be easier to blend into your skin. Now on to plucking. Plucking can be kind of difficult if you don't really know what you're doing. So what I recommend is using wrapping lotion or some type of mousse, I would say wrapping lotion though to go ahead and make your wig a little wet and continue to pluck the hairline to try to make it look very natural as possible. You can try it on and pull it back off, you know, to make sure it's for your liking. I will recommend that so you won't over pluck. And you don't want to pluck too much if you plan on wearing the wig pretty often because the frontals do start to ball after some time. So if you would like for your wig to last, do not over pluck.
you can pluck more of the unit once it's on your head and you see it if it's not the way you like it you can you can continue to plug once it's glued onto your head So now I applied my stocking cap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my got to be glued spray and I'm going to spray that all across the front multiple times until it dries and get hard where I can cut through and it will stay and not come up. Just trying to make the most of it. Babe, I miss your body. So now I'm going to cut the stocking cap on the side of my ear and begin to cut all around, but I am going to make sure it is blow dry down hard enough so it will last. So I'm just going to continue to blow dry and then I'm going to start to clip. And I usually start to clip the stocking cap in the middle of my forehead, it's split there, and then go down to the sides. So you're pretty much just going to keep cutting, keep cutting until you get it to where you want your wig to start. You don't want to put it too far down, then you might not have enough forehead for your wig, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, you're just going to keep cutting until you get it to where you want it. This is pretty much considered the ball cap method. You make some kind of fire within me. It's almost like it's burning through my skin. cut off all of the stocking cap that I need to cut it off I'm just going to take a little bit more of got to be glue spray and put it on my finger and apply that to the end of the cap so those little pieces are laid down November gets cold. December gets so now I'm going to take my current foundation that I'm using at the time I know I picked up this Maybelline and I actually did not use that because I don't have any in there so I used another Maybelline that I have and I just took that and put a little bit on top of a beauty blender and I just pretty much applied that across the top of the stocking cap. Here you're going to see me wiping off some of the Gatsby glue that was underneath the stocking cap to make sure that I have none of that on there when I apply my wig. I want my forehead to be as clean as possible when applying that glue in my wig. And I'm also going to be trying on my wig right here and cutting off extra stocking cap that I see that needs to be removed as I try on my wig. fast forwarding through this video pretty fast I just don't want to make the video overly long but anyways I'm just showing you what my wig looks like after I plucked it I have it clipped back ready to go so I'm going to pull my wig back and then I'm going to apply little drops of bow hole glue along the edges and blend in with a rat tail metal tail comb and I'm going to do multiple layers of this Do not apply the next layer until the first layer is clear, has dried a little bit clear. Now that I have applied all of my layers of glue, I'm literally just going to pull my wig forward starting with the middle piece and I'm going to just pretty much press the wig into the glue using my fingers in a comb. If you're going to use your fingers, you have to make sure that your hands are clean with nothing on them. But I do recommend taking that small tooth comb and combing the wig through onto your forehead, blending the glue. 
on your edges you would like to make sure that you have more than enough glue so you may need to put a little extra on the sides because those are the first pieces to lift those flaps will be the first pieces to lift on your wig Now that you have it all glued down, it's time to cut the lace. So I, again, I'm going to start in the middle and I'm just going to pretty much, I don't want to cut it evenly because when you cut it evenly, it don't look as realistic because no one hairline is evenly going across like that. So I'm pretty much just going to cut in the way my hairline is shaped, but I'm pretty, you are going to cut all of the lace off. All the extra lace will be removed. Another thing, I like to cut my lace after my wig is already glued down because it's easier not to mess up your lace because if you cut the lace off first, it will mess up the wig if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, next I'm going to go back in with my alcohol. I'm going to wipe off the excess glue that I have around the edges and I will be going back in and replucking and applying my makeup powder to the lace so it can blend even better. I usually do not do this when I have HD laces, but however, this is a transparent lace, it's a little different. HDs blend perfectly, but I'm going to go back in and I'm going to pretty much perfect my wig. 